How ridiculous is this? Why is it so cold? Can we just say though that that Forza Horizon glitch should never exist? So to put it into context, the game steers itself, it breaks itself, it steers itself now. For me, if you can't turn on a game, you shouldn't be playing it. You know, if you can't turn on a game like that, then you probably shouldn't be playing it. I mean, my four year old can turn. I put the brake assist on for him, but I don't put the auto steering on. God, I'm cold. <sighs> So what's going on everyone, welcome back to another video. You join me today, posting some parcels rather than um, collecting parcels because I've got a couple of things that I need to send off, Christmas presents and stuff like that. One thing though that I am re really, really struggling with is how cold it is today. It's 35 degrees Fahrenheit or two degrees Celsius, um, depending on where you're watching this. I know quite a lot of my audience is in America. And one thing I've noticed as well today is that my heated mirrors aren't working. So this car actually has just down there, if you can see, heated mirrors. Press a little button, red light turns on. This mirror is supposed to heat up with that one. Now you can see that one started clearing already, which is which is good, that's what you wanted to do. This one, it's not doing anything. I mean, the window is all misty. There you go, look, you can see there. Fully misted over still. Whereas that one, I'm starting to see a little bit now. So I do actually have a spare mirror for that side. If I'll get round to doing it, <laughs> you know, this time of this side of Christmas, I don't think so. But one thing I wanted to do today was sort out all the little like rattling and stuff like that in the car. And I've got a little bit of a cheat code to help anyone with rattles in their car. First of all, you need to find out where they're coming from. And that can be very, very difficult, especially with all the different trims and clips and things inside interiors. You'll notice as well that I've taken off the wide angle centre mirror. I took that off because that itself was rattling since fitting the engine mounts that we covered in the previous video. So that's a little bit of a plan and what's coming today. You know, I'm gonna just run around the car basically, find rattles, let you guys know about them and show you what I'm doing to try and compensate those rattles. But first things first, I need to know. touched it and it stopped rattling. It's that little surround on the stereo. So annoying. So now I'm sat in the car, looking around the car, trying to figure out where these rattles are coming from, because obviously it's not very good to try and do it on the road. You will have to do some searching on the road though, because a lot of the vibrations will be caused, in, in normal instances, by road vibration, rather than engine vibration. In my case though, I'm quite lucky that it's engine vibration in that I can hold the RPM of the engine at certain points and, and see where the uh, rattles and things like that are coming from. So that's what I'm going to try and do now. I have found a few already as I showed you earlier. This one here on the stereo, if I hold it at a particular RPM, there we are. Definitely one coming from over here somewhere. So yeah, this is what basically what I'm doing. I'm looking around the entire car. This little thing around the stereo though, this little trim, that's definitely rattling. So I'm gonna have a quick look at that first. So I've just taken this surround off and already looking at it, you can see, you can see there there's like dust on where the surround's been making contact. I can just wipe that off with my finger. I'm trying to show you guys that. So that's been vibrating for a very long time doing my heading for a very long time and it's pretty obvious as well where now in this little groove if you like where that trim piece sits where I need to sort of insulate and what I'm going to use this is definitely the cheat code in my opinion is this 
This is like a material sort of backed tape, so it's a um, it's odd. I wouldn't. I don't know how to describe it. And I think yeah, there we go. The camera's focused on it, but you can see it's like a textured material, almost like cotton, like a cotton t-shirt. But it's like an adhesive tape, and I've also got a little bit, just in case I needed to fill out any big gaps, a little bit of single-sided foam tape, so you can see that there. So these are definitely the cheat code for resolving your interior rattles and squeaks, but what won't help is having a lot of crap in your car. So <laughs> as we speak, I'm literally throwing a load of rubbish out of the car as well. Because that certainly won't help and this has got a lot of weight in it, some more rubbish there, I don't know why that's in there, I think that's from a work trip I went on once where I needed a toothbrush and toothpaste. But yeah, you can see in there that there's just random stuff that, and you know, these will definitely, definitely rattle around and cause a lot of problems. Tire seal, some gloves, windscreen scraper, usual, usual car rubbish in there and that's going to cause a lot of, a lot of weight. You can hear the metallic noises of something in this little toolkit here. I think there's an old pound coin in there, but look at it. But yes, there's going to be a lot of crap in here that's going to rattle around as well, and we need to try and sort that and fix that. So that's like the plan, if you like. I'm going to use a bit of this um, sort of material like tape and, and sort of trim it put it in there, make it nice and neat, throw this particular trim back on, or I might try and put it directly onto this, um, but yeah, this this is what's going to resolve the uh, horrible, horrible noises that I've been experiencing whilst driving this car. So as, exciting, so as exciting as this is, it's making me pretty much ecstatic basically because I'm going to have a rattle free car. Now what I've done is, is I've put the like the uh, the insulation, the sort of sound deadening material just round the edge there. You can see where the clips go in and this now should fit nice and snug. It shouldn't rattle, it shouldn't do anything weird. If you want to go in that is, there we are. So it's in, it didn't even click in, which is kind of a good thing because I don't want it to click because then I know that there's like plastic to plastic contact, if that makes sense. Whereas now it's clicked in place and it's it, it silently went into place. That's probably the best way of putting it. So it didn't click, but it was silently put into place. I'm just sort of flattening those edges so that the front can go back on. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> Just sort of testing that now, make sure that's not rattling about. No, that's got to be it, it's got to be it. One thing I did notice as well is that this and the windows rattling, I don't use it very often. So I'm gonna pull that off for the time being, just so it's one less thing to rattle. I need to try and do something with this. I think it might be the actual, you know, the actual locking mechanism there that's rattling on this particular thing, on the, uh, on the glove box. And I noticed as well that the ashtray sort of clip there is, is purely metal to uh, metal to metal. So if you listen to this now as it closes, so that's definitely not making any rattling noises now and it, it would rattle a little bit as I sort of nudged it because it was sort of a not a tight sort of fit and it doesn't it doesn't impact it opening up at all. It's I mean I barely use I don't use that, you know I use it as a bin but that's definitely a lot nicer. So I'm probably gonna do the same thing here on the glove box. Just put a little bit of the material over there. I also noticed that this um, little handle here was rattling a little bit. So I've just put a bit of foam on there so it sort of just snugs it up against the uh, the plastic door handle surround. So that's another thing that I've done. I've done the same on the driver's side. This side wasn't rattling but it's just sort of, you know, to to make it match. You know, a bit, bit anal with stuff like that. So while it's like that, you know, or, or even open, it's got enough material there to just make enough contact that it doesn't rattle. But at the same time, it's got a lot, uh, you know, enough um, movement, enough play around it to be able to close and open easily without any issues. So that is, you know, the, the, the full crux of it, if you like, of, of me trying to just chase these rattling noises. I'm starting my car up, turning it back off, holding it at different RPMs. To, to try and get the, the specific frequency that the car's vibrating at. It's proving quite fruitful so far. I am seeing quite a lot of uh, rattles disappear through applying this particular tape. I'm just gonna, te I'm just gonna test the stereo now. The first one I tested was the um, SIG holder, you know, the ashtray 
Um, forgot what it was called then because I don't use it, don't smoke so but yeah I'm going to start the car up again, test a few other things and, and see what's rattling, see what's making a noise and if I can you know remove things from the car to stop it from happening like that thing on the windscreen then I'll do so and if it's you know something that I need then I'll put it back on there and just use it for that time being but I'd imagine whilst this is under load, whilst it's got a bit of weight in it, it won't rattle but whilst it's sort of free to move around and it's just holding its own weight that's probably when you're seeing um, noises because it's not got anything to sort of dampen the sound and then reduce the uh, the frequency of the vibration that it's experiencing from the the windscreen itself hopefully that makes sense but yeah anyway I must crack on now I also bought to go along with all the other little random things I'm, I'm taking apart putting back together in this car I also bought an LED interior light and I got that just to modernize the car a little bit it looks 10 times better um, it was from China it was a few quid you know and I also got this. Now if you know what that is, it's an interior light set. I'm very tempted to throw it in now but I want to do a nice clean job of it. I don't want to just throw it in, plug it into the SIG lighter and just have it sort of hanging about you know and all the wires sort of exposed. I want to, if I can, sort of splice it into um, the interior light and have it so that when the car opens it turns on and, and sort of lights the, the footwell area excuse the uh, the footwell area it's uh disgusting also check out the new socks <laughs> i had to get them but um yeah just so it lights up the foot area so when the doors open it stays lit and i also want it to work with if i can make it the uh headlight stock god that's dusty this car's filthy inside i do apologize but when it's on uh wrong side i'm thinking of me me eg but when it's on you know side beams or full beams i want it to be coming on with the interior lights for the, with the dash light there you know for the clocks with the side lights and, and just have it so that it's on constantly in the footwells that would be nice but i'm probably going to leave that because like i said i do want to do a good job of it but they're really really cheap these kits for like 10 quid off uh, eBay. So that's going to conclude today's video. A very, very short one. I just wanted to show you this tape and this little hack and also the you know single-sided um, adhesive foam. Now, this is, in my opinion, the best way to get rid of interior rattles and you can go full send with this. And what you want to do is you want to attack any area, any section where there's plastic to plastic or just you know permanent contact. Now when I do build the EG Civic and I'm putting all the interior panels back in, all the sections where you've got like a push pin, a push plug or you know like a, a clip, a plastic clip, something where there's plastic against plastic, I'm gonna be putting that materialized um, tape, this this like foam, it's not foam, it's it's literally like material tape. I'm gonna be putting this on every section where there's like plastic to plastic or any sort of interference with two separate components that's the plan to make sure it's rattle free inside because i know that the engine mounts in that thing are 10 times worse than this so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got a little bit of something out of it this is definitely one of the easiest ways to get rid of rattles on the interior of a car by far in my opinion please check out these other videos as well the playlist for this particular car where i'm building this particular car and i've done loads of little things you know tweaking it modifying it I do really need to be getting on with it, but it's far, far too cold at the moment. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, look at all this crap, it's bloody embarrassing. And from one hack to another again, this is just bloody ridiculous.